some moments a nation holds to, others are pushed below the surface of chosen memory. It was called the Underground Railroad, and those who dreamed of it, those who rode it, and those who choose to remember it, embrace the courage of the brave who defied law and cultural restraints to free an enslaved people. John Parker knew the bitterness of slavery. At the tender age of eight, he was sold and walked hundreds of miles, never to see his mother again. It's almost like a William Shakespeare story in some way. There's betrayal, you know, he's being sold by, you know, perhaps his father, you know, being sold into slavery, into bondage. By the age of 18, after several failed escape attempts, Parker's sharp intellect, courage, and ferocious enterprise enabled him to buy his own freedom. Once he crossed the Ohio River, he never forgot the bondage he had survived. He risked it all to be a conductor. But perhaps none has made the dangerous journey a reality for so many. The Midnight Marauders is what we're called. Those who were dared to go across the river looking for those who were trying to escape from that horrible, wretched institution of slavery. He's this larger than life. He, he's this made for, for the movies personality, Ab absolutely. From the banks of the Ohio River near Ripley, Ohio, John Parker would scour for those escaping slavery, making their way north, one step closer to the next stop on the railroad to Canada, to a life free of bondage and free from bounty hunters. It was their promised land. He had to put everything on the line every, every time. He left this house, you know, the kids might not have seen him again, his wife might not have seen him again. You know, going into Kentucky could have easily been kidnapped, murdered, uh, put in prison, jail, whatever. Many times I've had to walk down an alley with a pistol in one hand and a blackjack in the other. Many men would have leaped out of the alley just to grab the hold of me. The real fortress and home to the fugitive slaves was the house of the Reverend John Rankin, way up on top of the hill. The Underground Railroad it was a dangerous institution to be close to while it was running. Parker refused to have his picture taken even long after the Civil War was over. He revealed his life story to an enterprising reporter years later. Parker should be part of our greater awareness, allowed to join the memory banks of today as one of the bold creators of a society of our better angels. Someone who did one of the first reviews of his promised land said, usually we need to invent our American heroes. You don't have to with Parker.